You've probably seen that interview from what Will Greaves said after she won the women's match play. And I've got to say, I think, well, you'll see it coming up in a minute. I think Darren's been smoking some good old bloody wild mushrooms. When he's basically saying that Greaves got the game to beat basically the, the guy who's on the tour. Yes, you can say Greaves is good for a woman player. And is she good? She won a development tour, yes, but that's against people who haven't got a tour card, who's not chucking in 100 plus averages every game. And another good point I thought she said is basically all these people who think that a woman can win the Men's World Championship, basically, in so many words, they're talking out their ass, aren't they? And let's be honest, it's the truth. Because, I mean, why would, say, Greaves, why would you want to go to the World Championship? Well, basically get knocked out first round, walk away with, what, seven grand. When she can go to the WDF, win that, piece of piss, and walk away with like 25 grand. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. But, I mean, all these people who just do all this clickbaiting articles, there's never going to be a woman ever winning the Men's World Championship. Unless bloody, well, the way this funny world is today, unless fucking Luke Humphreys walk, well... Wakes up the next morning and calls himself bloody Lucinda Humphreys or Michelle Van Gerwen. That's the only way anyone from, as in being a female, is going to win a world championship. So, Darren, don't agree with you on this one, mate. I think you've been talking out your backside a little bit, but you'll have a look at this interview here and you'll see what I mean from what Grease said shortly after she won the match play. Separate competitions and a lot of other stuff, and uh, yeah, because. I just don't think we will we will ever be good enough to play against the the likes obviously Luke Humphries, Van Gogh, and even little like you're just looking at you know you're facing a loser battle. Do you know what I mean before you've even thrown a dart? So um, just want a bit more out of that side of it. I think Can I, just do I don't think any lady will will ever go to Ali Pali and and win that. I think you are literally just being silly if you think that's possible. I think they do the women's series separate. Think that a woman can win the men's world championship basically in so many words they're talking out their ass aren't they and let's be honest it's the truth Cause, i mean why would say Greaves? why would you want to go to the world championship well basically get knocked out first round walk away with what seven grand when she can go to the wdf win that piece of piss and walk away with like 25 grand i mean it's, it's a no-brainer but I mean, all these people who just do all this clickbaiting articles, there's never going to be a woman ever winning the Men's World Championship. Unless bloody, well, the way this funny world is today, unless fucking Luke Humphreys, walk, well, wakes up the next morning and calls himself bloody Lucinda Humphreys or Michelle Van Gerwen. That's the only way anyone from, as in, being a female is going to win a world championship. In, like when I go to Grand Slam, I don't look forward to it because I know I've got to play men. It's different, I don't fancy my chances at all. I'm just realistic, like, I know how I can play, but it doesn't necessarily happen on the day. Like it's, um, The men are just a lot more consistent and stuff, and obviously we're not, it's just how it is. You can see it on, on the Darts Connect and stuff when you watch the streams and the, the board, so you have to be realistic and think, is this going to go anywhere? Unless they have a separate tournament for us. So you can see there, these Grease is actually talking bloody common sense, which a lot of these bloody world karate officials on these bloody podcasts and everything are too afraid to say. You do look at the averages on Darts Connect. You've got Humphreys chucking in 100 plus average. Then you look at, say, Sharrett, 70 odd average. It's completely different. So, yeah, maybe if they do want their own sort of tournament. I mean, like, let's be honest, the finals night at the PDC is a load of crap. Waiting all day just for one final. Why not stick a, a few other tournaments in? Like, why don't you have the Men's World Championship final? Have the Women's World final? I don't know, stick some a bloody Legends World final. Stick some, I don't know, Dart YouTubers final. Some pairs. A, any sort of pairs. You need to liven up finals tonight because it is bloody dire to watch. But back to this, I'm just glad that Grease is actually talking sense. Because, I mean, you look at even sort of Taylor today. 
yes, you can say he's not nowhere near what his peak was, but it's still bloody what half the floor of all of these bloody like Sherrick and all of them. It's it's just a completely different game. So I gotta give me props to Grease there, cause for once someone's talking bloody common sense. How many ladies are better than men in any other sport there is? Like it's just not a thing, and I think you have to be realistic about it. And obviously, I can sit here and say, "Oh, I've won back to back this and back to back that," but when you get on stage and someone completely outclasses you, and then it's just a different kettle of fish in it. You just sort of stuck in a rut, and you like I say, you just look at the stats and the average and stuff. I know it's only throwing three darts, but it's different, um, and I just think we deserve that. I think there's um, just space for it in the sport, and obviously you see a lot of the men and stuff, and uh, I don't think it'd be a bad thing having more ladies included, but in their own separate tournament. And for me, personally, playing at Alexandra Palace and that is not... Some people dream of that sort of stuff. I never did, so when I sort of got there, it wasn't... Maybe I'm being ungrateful, I don't know, but when I sort of got there, it wasn't amazing to me as it was to other people. I think I'm more of a ladies dart player. That's why I've said I'll choose Lakeside over some of the stuff just because I'm just more comfortable there and it's about ladies darts, it's not about men's darts, so I've just gotta support the ladies best I can. I mean, why would say Grease, why would you wanna to go to the World Championship? Well, basically get knocked out first round, walk away with what, seven grand when she can go to the WDF win that piece of piss and walk away with like 25 grand. I mean, it's, it's a no brainer. After about the, obviously she's won a place to, to Ali Pali. It doesn't look like she'll be going to, to the world championship again and be focused on WDF. But um, comments about it would be silly to think that a woman could ever win the PDC world championship. What, what did you make of those? Yeah. Comments? yeah, the feedback has been how honest it's been and uh, isn't she great for our sport, but I, you know, I wanted someone like Bo Grease, who's the best female player I've seen. You know, like I said, her throw is the best in the world. For a player who had dartitis, I just, when she's in full flow, she's as good as anything, and she can average 110, she can, she can do, and I really wanted her to come out and say, you know, I'm going to the Grand Slam, I had a taste of it last time, and they're gonna get it. Because at the same time, she said about the development to her, how relaxed she is about not just playing the lady, women players, that she's enjoying playing against, uh, the, you know, the, the boys, the men, etc. cetera. Uh, I was, yeah, I was a little bit surprised because if anyone's gonna do some damage in, you know, as a female player in the men's game, then um, yeah, Bo Grease has got all the attributes to do that. Yeah, and you kind of feel like with the numbers she's producing, like why why couldn't she? So I kind of mm. agree with what you're saying with, you know, her coming out and maybe saying that about the Grand Slam, you know, yeah, I'll make it out of the group this time. I came close last time, like the yeah. boys were scared. She was using the analogy of tennis as a men's game. There's a, a, mm. a, a, a and I, 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 it's but not that, what it's I want. Not, but but that, that, mm. that is very different. Yeah. Because there are physical, mm. massive physical advantages. Mm. Yeah. She said as well um, that she just doesn't enjoy the big stages. You know, she well, that's, that's what she told me anyway. She, she said, yeah, she just doesn't. I think when she went to Ali Pali that one year, I think it's just really, it took her out of her comfort. See, Pat and there talking about the numbers Grease posting, yes, because they're like best of bloody four legs or best of five legs. They're, they're not best of bloody 11 or best of 20. So of course you're going to get some bloody high averages now and then. So, nah, I, I mean, you can say about the Grand Slam. I mean, what's that? First of four, first of five legs? Nah. Do a proper game. If you do every single woman's game, best of 11 over this next season, and then look at the stats then.